And our first email today comes to us from our friend Shannon Ponce, who writes, I was looking at the weekend box office report that just came out today, and I saw Wreck-It Ralph 2 came in at number one again for the third weekend in a row. I thought this was kind of surprising. Just wondering if you have any surprises when you look at the results this week. Well, before we talk about the surprises, let's actually look at the box office results this week. So yes, as you just mentioned, coming in number one at the box office again was of course Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet, making another $16.1 million. Third weekend in a row that it comes in at the number one spot. Dr. Zeus the Grinch, better movie than you might think actually came in at second place with another 15 million dollars creed 2 made another 10 fantastic beast of crimes of grindelwald comes in fourth place with 6.8 and bohemian rhapsody rounds out the top five making another six million dollars so robert you look at the box office results anything jumping out to you as a surprise no but if you look you've got basically even creed 2 there's three family movies you know, movies mm. that the whole family can see. And I think that we're in the Christmas season. Um, people are starting to come home from college. You've got families going together to see films. Kids are going to start getting out of school. I don't think it's any surprise that from Thanksgiving to Christmas that family family movies are doing well. And and let's face it, Wreck-It Ralph, is a, it's, it's a new family classic. Yeah. And why shouldn't this, uh, this uh, sequel... Ralph breaks the internet, which I haven't seen yet, but I want to see it. I oh it God, the yes, movie see on it. Video. Okay, see it. It's it's really fun and it's I really enjoyable. Yeah, and this one is pretty much on par. It's a di it's a little bit different, but it's pretty much on par. When it comes to surprises, though, Wreck-It Ralph coming in number one at the box office again, no surprise. No, it's no surprise because nothing else has opened in the last couple weeks. Right. The only other significant thing that's opened this week, as a matter of fact, is you've got the re-release that they did of Schindler's List, which did, I think, $500,000 or something right. like that. The 25th they, anniversary. The 25th anniversary, put it out on a 1,000 screens. I love Schindler's List, but I can never watch the movie again. I mean, it's just one of those movies to me that I love it, adore it. It's amazing, and I just cannot watch it again. It's just one of those heavy things. So I'll tell you what some of the things that do surprise me are, though. We knew Robin Hood didn't look any good. <laughs> we know Robin Hood isn't very good. But in its just third week of release, it's already down to number eight at the box office. It is now, it's a movie that cost $100 million to make. It's now sitting at $65 million, and that's pretty much it. It ain't going to hit 70, folks. This has got to be in the running for maybe the biggest money loser of the year because you're talking about the 100 million production now you're talking another 30 million probably for marketing with that 65 million it's made about another 21 or 22 million of that stays with the movie theaters so you're looking at maybe a hundred close to a hundred million dollar loss for this Yeesh. movie and even though i thought it looked bad i didn't expect it to be to, to perform this badly so that was a surprise but the other thing is this you just kind of alluded to and this was the other little surprise thing to me as i started looking at the box office was that there's been some talk around the industry about, you know, mid-level budget movies just don't have a place anymore. Mid-level budgets don't have a place. But you know what? As I look down the box office rundown, there are a number of mid-level budget things, things that aren't $100 million. To Bohemian make. Rhapsody being one of them. Bohemian Rhapsody costs $52 million to make. $52 million. It is closing in on $600 million worldwide on a $52 million budget. One of the other big Oscar buzz movies right now, A Star is Born, cost $36 million to make, has made over 10 times its budget. It's already just about $370 million. And actually, as I went down the top 50, I was like, this has done well, this has done well, this has done well, this has done well. So when I hear these guys talk about there's not a place for these mid-budget movies anymore, I'm wondering... Are you saying that's true now? Because that doesn't look like that's true. Or are you predicting that's what's going to come in the future? All I know is the movies are better when we have a healthy slate of mid-level budget movies. I agree with you. I mean, Creed Two is also not a, a, a bank-breaking film either. Right. And, and I, you know, it all comes down to a great story well told. That's what Stephen King said. A good story well told. And that's true of movies. And the fact is... How can you sustain a business model where every movie costs two hundred million dollars, and you have to make six hundred million at the box office just to break even and turn profit? That you can't build a business. No, on I that. mean you make a fifty-five million dollar movie like a Bohemian Rhapsody, and it makes six hundred million. Yeah, that's a great business model. But and even you make it for fifty million dollars, and you make 
two seventy five. Right. That's a big win. That's I mean, a big it, win. That that's where the bread and butter of the movie industry has been and kind of needs to be. If it does just all go blockbuster, 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 right. then it becomes a problem. But it, right now, it does look like there's some pretty good balance. Right. And and what's interesting is it counterbalances what Disney's doing. They're yes. making these giant, big family entertainments, or they're making these gigantic Marvel and Star Wars blockbusters. So the other studios don't have to compete in that arena. You know, they can make a Creed 2. I think that's MGM, right? And, and I think that's really healthy and important for the business.